government is moving faster to boost its urban development mission as it plans to splash a whopping 98,000 crore rupees. Yesterday, the cabinet approved the creation of 100 smart cities with an outlay of 48,000 crore rupees. Joining us now to talk about the government's smart city plan is Mr. Talin Kumar, the managing director and CEO of the Delhi Mumbai Industrial Corridor Development Corporation. Mr. Kumar, appreciate you joining us here on CNBC TV 18. Let me begin by asking you, what's your sense of the progress that's been made so far as far as the DMICDC is concerned? Which will be the first smart city and by when will the development be complete? Oh, so the MICDC now has well and truly entered the implementation phase and we are going ahead with five smart cities wherever, wherever we could uh, get land. And these five are uh, Dholera in Gujarat, Shendra Bitkin in Maharashtra, Vikram Udyogpuri Township near Ujjain in Madhya Pradesh, Integrated Industrial Township in Greater Noida in UP and the fifth one is Global City in Gurgaon in Haryana. Now you asked me about which is, which is going to be the first one. Well, the first ICT consultant hiring tender, RFQ come RFP has been floated for Dholera. So I guess you can say that Dholera is more advanced than the others in all the five cities. The first phase is we, we are targeting by the end of 2019 in all these cities. Three all right, so you're years. saying that Dholera, Dholera has an edge over the other cities at this point in time, but the government says it will come out with a competition to select smart cities. We, knew, we know that the DMICDC is outside of that, but what, according to you, should be the fundamental features that the government must focus on as far as the smart city development is concerned and the smart city mission is concerned? Take us through your experience of trying to put Dholera, for instance, together. Okay. Uh, we have been mainly focusing on greenfield smart industrial cities right from 2011 onwards. And the key feature of a smart city is what you do with real-time data, how you deploy ICT to use real-time data for two purposes. One is for making infrastructure verticals more efficient, B, for improving the quality of life of the citizens in the city. The four key things that happen are, you know, instrumentation, intelligence, data analytics, and in information sharing. What happens is large data analytics and large use of information sharing leads to decision making in real time, which leads to infrastructure verticals becoming more efficient and B, the quality of life of people is also improved in that city. We have identified five infrastructure verticals and five verticals in the social sector, which combined will make a city a smart city. Now these five infrastructure verticals are energy and energy management, uh, water and water management, transportation and traffic management, public safety and solid waste management. On the social sector side, we have identified education, health, inclusive development, participative governance and community assets. We feel that a combination of these five infrastructure verticals and the five social sector verticals will make a field smart city a true smart city. Well, that's good to hear, uh, Mr. Kumar. But, uh, you know, the center is promising 100 crore rupees in terms of central assistance per year per smart city. From your experience, is that woefully short? Uh, it's a little bit, honestly, it's too early for us to comment on that because uh, we ourselves are in the process of inviting, a, engaging an ICT consultant and inviting RFP come RFQ for hiring an ICT consultant who is going to break down the digital master plan into smaller components and parts and get me to the BOQ stage where I can bring in the system integrator or what is known as a master system integrator. Then I'll have an idea of how much money we are talking about. But to my mind, having said that, the amount that you are saying is also a sizable and significant amount because it says that, from whatever I know, it says that this is the contribution of Government of India which can be leveraged to get contribution from states, from local governments and also from the private sector depending on how the project is structured.
Oh, absolutely. That is the central assistance of 100 crore rupees per year. It, a lot will depend on the private sector's participation as well. But Mr. Talim Kumari, it's been a pleasure speaking with you. Thank you very much for joining us and giving us an update of where things currently stand as far as the DMICDC's plans for smart cities are concerned. Dolera is likely, likely to be the first of.